Hi everybody, look what just showed up in the mail. My LED lighting kit D6936. It was $1.57, you can see the little package. And here we are, here's the, the kit itself. The kit seems to come with 38 LEDs, a circuit board, another circuit board, a couple capacitors, some diodes and some resistors, and a base unit. And uh, noticeably missing were the instructions. Man, I, I guess for a dollar fifty-seven here, but I'm I'm going to Google, uh, you know, LED light D six nine three six, and of course, uh, let me show you what I got. Okay, I Googled the thing, and I and it took me to Alibaba, and here's uh, the seller's page. You can kind of see how he's the kit. To, here, here's the one I bought. Is it a dollar fifty-seven from AliExpress? And uh, it actually showed up about three weeks, which is about typical from China. It is uh, mailed by the China Free Shipping. And uh, anyway, uh, here's the schematic. So uh, I guess the AC, uh, this, this would have to be the smaller circuit board. And I guess the larger circuit board would just be to the, the plus minus going across the LEDs. This should be pretty easy to figure out. Appears to have a uh, hmm, BX. I don't know what that would be. Uh, or we got a resistor, a capacitor, four diodes, another resistor, another capacitor, and uh, another resistor. And the BX, uh, we'll look for that. You know, maybe it's a ferrite bead or something like that. I opened the package, and here's what we found. So we can see we've got a small circuit board. It is silk screened, so that should help out a little. We got four diodes. Uh, electrolyte capacitor and a, and a regular capacitor, four resistors, I guess uh, 200k and 200 ohms, and two pieces of black wire. So here's the entire contents of that particular package. I just wanted to show you what I had so far. I put in the, the resistors, R1 and R2, were supposed to be between uh, 100k and 1 meg. You can see how they have the the uh, the white orange uh, band on there, and then R3 is supposed to be 100 ohm. You can see it's brown, black, brown, uh, and I guess that's 100 ohm. And uh, on the diodes, kind of see how there's a band on on the end of the diode. On the circuit, they kind of show the band here, the band there, and the band there. And uh, I'll, I'll put the rest of the parts in here and solder it up and we'll see what happens. Okay, all the parts are in there and, and I just put the leads through and then spread them apart so it didn't fall out. Now I'm going to solder them down. Okay, I've got my pencil soldering iron and it's nice and hot and I got some solder. Got all the components in there. If you notice, there's an extra resistor that they gave me. They gave me an extra 100 ohm resistor I didn't need. And there's still the two little pieces of black wire that I'll solder later. But, you know, basically this is a, a very simple operation. Take the pencil solder and iron, you put it in there, you heat up the work and the lead, and then once it's hot, it'll flow. It didn't flow that time, in a second. There you go. Anyway, you keep on doing that to all of those, and once you get them all soldered, then you clip off the, the excess leads. Here's the completed circuit board. And if you notice, I put the two black wires in where it says LED plus and LED minus. And then kind of see around the, the edge here. See where I got the minus on the electrolytic capacitor kind of going. And, and, and I have a theory on this extra 100 ohm resistor. I'm thinking that the circuit said it was for a 220 volt we're only going to do 120 volts, so I may have to take R3 and parallel the second 100 ohm across R3 to get enough current. We'll assemble everything else and then test out my theory. Now it's time to assemble the LED board. And the thing to note is you can see how there's a little flat spot on each one of these things. There's a little flat spot. And there's a little flat spot on the edge of the LED. And make sure that those two are on the right side. Okay, I soldered all the LEDs in. And they gave me one extra, and uh, it's real easy to do. Just remember, you see how that there's a one lead that's longer 
than the other. The longer one is the plus, and the shorter one is the minus, and the minus has the flat side on the edge. So uh, just put these things in. I started from the outside, you know, would do a, a row, then solder, then cut them off, then do the next row. It might be easier if you started from the inside, and uh, I don't know, uh, however you want to do it. On the back, I'd like to point out, you can see where it says VCC, and there's a hole open, and there's a little plus by it. And over here it says ground, and I guess that's a minus, and there's a hole right there. So that's where the the two black wires are run to from the power supply. Okay, here we have the, the AC lines coming out of the socket. You notice the, the blue line is the one that goes to the center, and the yellow line is the one that goes to the outside. Now, look at this circuit here. Remember how there was a, on the schematic it said a BX? Now, when they're talking about BX, they're talking about that fine line right there. That's a fusible element. So that's kind of a safety thing to where if things are going to short out, uh, the circuit board will melt along this little skinny trace, and, uh, you know, who knows, might help something. So anyway, uh, the blue line goes to, to that one, and the yellow one goes to the other one. So those are the two ACs, and you can kind of see all the rest of the stuff here. By the way, everything's completed. It's now time to power this thing up and see what happens. Luckily, I never throw anything away, so I happen to have an old fixture here and, and put a cord on there. So let's turn on the power and see what happens. Oh my gosh. Now the only question is, is whether I need to take that 100 ohm resistor and parallel R3 to double the drive's current. And I'll think about this for a minute here and uh, we'll see what happens. I got the lights off and I don't know, this doesn't really seem that bright. I, I'm thinking that maybe we need to increase the drive current here. So uh, boy, I hope I don't lose a, a, a dollar and 58 cents, but we'll give it a try. Okay, you can see I paralleled the two 100 ohm resistors together, given an effective resistance of 50 ohms, and we'll see what happens. Well, it seems to work. It seems to have a, a bit more brightness. Let me turn the lights off and let's look at it. Okay, let's take a look. Well, that's a lot brighter. Seems to do a lot better job at lighting stuff up. It's not super bright, but uh, it was better than it was before. See in the back there, there's a, that white peg, and then there's a little hole here. So we'll just uh, align those two. I got on that hole, but it doesn't really stick there. This kind of bothered me. I was worried about shorting, so I wrapped a, a lot of layers around, of protective tape around here just so that nothing would short out here. And now it's time to snap in the LED assembly. Okay, well, the circuit board snapped in. It probably better if it was glued in. Uh, it snapped in, though. It should be pretty good. This thing seems to be working pretty well. Fairly bright. Well, here we go. Um, $1.58, and uh, here we go. We got our, our own home-built LED light.